Arts by Belle Tress, a brand new style. You're gonna see it for the first time right along with me. Look at the size of this box, ultra long. Let's get all the details coming up. I purchased this style. You can find it at Wig Studio One. Drop below the video, expand the description box. I'll attach a link, a direct product link labeled Belle Tress Ace of Hearts. If you click on that link, it will take you out to the site. It'll show you all of the colors available and the pricing. Remember, Bell Trust is an automatic 30% off at checkout at Wig Studio One. And don't forget to visit the private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Talbert Support Group. Now, these ultra long styles by Bell Trust are not my personal favorite for everyday wear, but boy, do I ever reach for them when that special occasion or weekend event comes up. I really enjoy wearing them. And in the summertime, I love to put them up. They make the cutest updos. So this Ace of Hearts is going to be a curly style, long, 23 inches long. Um, isn't that interesting? Look what they've done here. They've taken a piece of tissue and formed the curl around it. Let's see what happens when I take it out. Will everything fall? <laughs> okay. It looks like it stayed intact there a little bit, but they've used these little tissue pieces as curl formers. So those curls don't get crushed during shipping and they kind of hold their shape a little bit more. Wow, those curls, beautiful, beautiful. I haven't even gotten it out of the package yet. So let's check it out. I'm quite sure how to unpackage this one. Now we have seen a softer, more intact curl by Beltrust before. I have to watch so I can keep the whole thing within view. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't have tapered ends like some of the shatter textures that they use a lot uh, very often. So let's continue to unwrap it here. All right, everything looks good. Let's take a look at the inside of this cap though before I fit it on my head because I know I'm going to have to make an adjustment. Beltress fits me large. Very, very roomy caps with Beltress. So Ace of Hearts has an extended lace front. You can see that runs back about halfway back through the ear tab. It's nicely contoured uh, on both sides. And then you've got a lace front then that joins into a left monofilament side part that almost reaches the crown and a very wide parting space there. I love when they do that because it gives me a lot more versatility in how I can part this in the front. A closed velvet ear tab, an extended velvet nape with the pull strap type adjusters, lots and lots of wefting and stretch, very typical again of bell truss. So let me go ahead and while I'm back here, let's make my adjustment. Okay. It fits very typical of a Beltress fit. So that adjustment that I made should be enough to get me through this review without the wig rolling around loosely on my head. Wow, beautiful, isn't it? So this is what it looks like right out of the box. You kind of have these baby doll looking curls. They need to be fluffed and deconstructed a little more with the fingers. Um, this front piece here, and it's very hard for me to see in the camera, but I definitely think that needs a little bit of work. But the first thing I want to do is remove it. And then let's just gently use our fingers to sort of rake. Now this is going to set the fiber free. A lot of you ask me, Tess, how do you get the wigs looking so wispy? Well, and with, and with graceful movement. And so this is all I really do right out of the box. Now this is the heat friendly fiber by Beltress. So a uh, part of the cafe collection, we're all used to this type of fiber. I recommend using some silicone or something on the ends in a long style like this, just to delay uh, some of the wear and tear. There's no way that we can prevent it, but we certainly can protect the ends with a little bit of silicone just to delay that friction and wear and tear and static that happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and reapply.
So right out of the box, it's easy to see the gist of the style is a very long, feminine, curly style, right? Let's go through some of these specs and then I'll get busy working on bringing this one to life. But it doesn't look too bad right out of the box, right? So in the front, you're gonna see a seven inch fringe piece. I love that. It makes it more manageable, more easy to wear, and I think it's ultimately more flattering when you have a little bit of layering around the face. So that seven inch fringe, it's gonna stretch about an inch or so beyond my chin there. Ultra long at 23 inches. Wow, I'm gonna to have to back up here so that you can see the full length of it. So for me personally, I think I'd have to wear this up quite a bit just to feel comfortable in at home in such length. It weighs about six ounces, okay, so it's on the heavier side, but you can expect that with all of this fiber and length. Uh, now the density. Let me describe this density, and we can see some variance from piece to piece, but it's just a nice average density. It's not a thick density like, let's say, the Camellia, which was about this length. Oh my goodness, that was probably nearly nine ounces in weight with a very thick density. I, I feel like that one might be discontinued now, but this one is more along the lines of Shakerado. Shakerado featured a little bit of a lighter density. Um, and now I'm only seeing one piece here, so I can't account for any variances, but there's very little to no permatease anywhere on this. The curl looks like it is just your uh, beautiful feminine curling iron curl that has been managed and customized just with your fingers. You can make them a little more boingy and bouncy, or you can stretch them through your fingers and stretch them out a little bit. So my preference is to always part it a little bit left of center. And on a belt truss piece, I typically have to take some of what's going over to the right and pull it to the left, just so that I can get a better, more centralized looking part. We're gonna break up the, <clears throat> the weave pattern at the parting space here. So I wanna enhance the lift right there at the parting space, but then pull down some hair around the face on the inside of those layers. I've brought air into the curl. So what do you think, guys? Beautiful, right? I would expect nothing less from Beltress. Super feminine, super sexy, long style. Okay, let's get started with our indoor-outdoor look. around a little bit. This would be an excellent style if you want to do some more elaborate type updos. I never do those. I don't have any experience with those. Uh, typically, I just do your very quick, easy, messy type of styles just to keep it up off of the neck. I think that looks really casual and sexy as well. But this one would be great wedding or special event hair for sure. Thanks so much for joining me today. We'll see you again real soon right back here at Taz's Wig Closet.